Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am currently coming to you from a house. As you guys have seen from the title, I'm going to be bringing my Stallion Emporio here home for the very first time. It's the first time he's ever going to be on a float, I think. The first time he's going to have traveled anywhere off with me. And we're hopefully, if he's quiet, going to have a ride and a first good experience as well. Um, now I've always wanted to bring him here. Uh, this is where we have all of our other horses and Porter is the only horse we own that is over in the other stables. So I'm excited to see how he's going to react and how he's going to handle all of this. Uh, I do think it's important for young horses to get out and for it to become quite normal for them to have to leave and come back. Um, so hopefully we can give him a really, really good first experience. Now, I don't know exactly um, once he's here how it's going to be, but that's what we're here to find out today. <laughs> so I think the first thing we're going to have to do is we've got the float and everything. Where is it? Oh, it's this side. There, we've got the float <laughs> ready to go. Um, we're going to bring everything there, pack up and then put him on the float. And hopefully there's no issues with him going on the float. And if there is, we will solve it when we're there. So we will see you at the other stable. Look who is joining us again. Everybody's been, by popular demand, you're back. <laughs> Mr. Labeck. Huh? Mr. Labeck. What's that? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's just lack of sleep, yes sir. Should I give you back the controls here? Okay, so I actually washed Emporio before uh, because he was it was raining before and he was full of mud, so he's nice and clean now. I'm gonna put some boots on him and then we're gonna pack the truck. The truck, I wish, coming soon. We're gonna pack the float with everything we need and then we're gonna get going because we we're on a bit of a time schedule which is not great, but yeah, it will be fine. <laughs> so we're gonna grab the Oreo. He's actually changed stables. He used to be on this side and now he's on this side because he stopped with one of the horses that just left. Oh my god, he's so clean. I haven't even seen that. Look, hi! Come on, buddy! He's grown so much. Yeah. Hey, you're not so little anymore, are you? In the main. Okay, we're gonna have to interrupt a little dead time here because we have to get going. The, this poor horse has no idea what's gonna happen. This is the first time he's gonna. We didn't move the horses. I know. I was gonna do it later. Uh, at home, we have Antares and Macho close to the arena, so Antares still likes to like lunge at horses <laughs> when you're riding. So we're gonna have to move that before um things get a bit. Oh, this wasn't washed very well. It's still very dirty. Do you mind holding him while I clean his feet? Okay, we can walk him out. Thank you, man. Sorry. Okay. So, yeah, I prefer to travel my horses with um, uh, leg protection. So. I'm gonna no. give the reins back to yes now. Oh no, I'm gonna do it. Come on, yes. Come. Please, come on. Come. I can probably all stuff in the thing. Huh? Oh, you know how to put boots on? Yeah, I can probably all stuff in this thing. Oh yeah. No. Sure, sure. No, no, just put them on, we don't have time. Come. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the people want to see you. <laughs> yeah, they see me later. They go to my channel. My channel is called Yes Sure. I mean, they might get a video every three months, but... How do you think he's gonna be? Um, I think he will be fine in the end, no? And what do, what do you think about the floating? Mm, I think he will scream once. Oh, there'll be some screaming for sure, I think. He's a vocal one. But I do have a good feeling that overall it's gonna be... He's really grown. Oh my god, he's really grown. He's put on so much weight and muscle. He's... <laughs> But I also really gave him the time. And how do you think he will be? Um, I think when he arrived from being trucked, he was doing quite well. So I think he will be semi-okay. But I think he's also going to be a little bit excited. But you can't really blame him for that. No, but I think it will be fun for him, no? Huh? It will be fun for him. Yeah. Never see your brush like this. Okay, let's get going. 
Okay, do you think we'll need like um, a little whip as an extension of the hand? To... We'll bring one just in case. Not on your pad, of need. Oh, oh, he doesn't oh. like the hind boots. <laughs> Thank you. Now we go. Over at the trail, Hilly. Tot zo. Hurry. Shiny. Has it been up since he lives here? Off the property? No, no, this is his first trip ever. And he's a four year old for everybody who doesn't know his background, so he is quite young. He's only been transported probably three times in his whole life, so this is all new, very new to him. Just gonna bring him close and let him see it first and see how he is. Look, it's not so scary at all. Yeah, good boy. And I think, the thing I'm gonna try and do, I'm not a trailer loading expert, but I just want him to keep facing it. Even though he's scared and stuff, I just want him to keep, keep like, Keep his focus and attention on the on the train. Okay, so good. We're gonna drive very carefully with him now because he is not used to everything still. Um, but so far he's doing really good. I tied him up, but I didn't want to tie him up too, too hard because it, he still has to get his balance a little bit. Um, but we're going to be driving very, very slowly. And there's no center divider here, so he can't get his head stuck. It was really funny because you started driving backwards, Yasser, and he started looking backwards. He's like this, where are we going? <laughs> so, so far he's been kind of good. I don't know if you guys can hear, but he's pawing a little bit, but that's kind of normal, especially for his age. Um, but so far, so good. But the corners is what I'm curious about because even my horse Chase, who's super quiet, he's very sensitive around corners. So we're gonna have to see how um how Emporio goes. I just really like when Emporio is a bit tense. He just shakes so much. Yeah, but it's like um. Don't you think it's like very internalized? Like he internalizes all the like fear and stuff, and so his body just takes it, but he kind of like freezes at the same time. He'll just right. shake. He's very sweet. He's a really sweet horse. Um, but so far, knock on everything that's wood. Um, so far, it's good. Yeah, but in front of my feet. Oh, sorry. Are you feeling a lot of pressure? No, right. <laughs> really, no. Oh, good. Expert over here, good. I'm glad. Okay, so we're approaching our street. Emporio actually handled it so far really well. All the corners, he's just pawing a little bit, but I think it's the anxiety and frustration of this whole experience. Um, but so far, so good. I'm so excited to have him home, even though he's not going to be staying with us because we don't have space for another horse, especially not a stallion. I am excited to have him here even just for a little bit and to start getting him used to being out and about and doing different things. I think even for him, even though it might be scary for now, it's also nice to show him different sceneries and different things. But I'm curious how he's going to be when it, once he gets off the once he gets off the trailer. What do you think we should do? Loop around at the bottom and park it at the top? Because I think it's good maybe he doesn't see horses straight away when it, as soon as he gets off. Oh my god, we're in the house, we're here. Really such a good boy, this horse. <laughs> Thank you for driving, yes, sir. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Oh my god. You got a little bit excited when you heard the other horses because we had to turn around the bottom. Hey! Emporio. There he is. Good boy, buddy. Yeah. Good boy, easy. Oh my god, he's here! Oh. First reaction, fought, so. I brought my horse home! <laughs> Thumbnail! Oh. 
Okay, we're gonna bring him down so far. He's quite chilled. He's looking a little bit because he's seeing horses and he obviously gets a bit um, triggered by horses. But we're gonna bring him down and maybe we bring him. Maybe we. Oh. Yes, I got. Yes, I got knocked out by the fence. Uh, we're gonna bring him maybe into the field with uh, some long grass. Oh, I was like, into the field. What? Um, and we're just gonna chill with him for a second there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Look at Chase, he's like, okay, show it on, come. I want to say hello. Okay, not on top of Papa. Because I do not want to get hurt. So. I don't really want to walk this, or maybe we can go walk in the arena. Oh, yeah. Let's go explore the arena, because the field's a bit close to the others for now. Oh, you didn't do the arena. Ah, uh, jumps. Great <laughs> <laughs> promise. Fine, yeah. It's a from, from the camping. It'd be nice if I had a longer lunch to just let him have a bit of a stretch. Uh, Wasn't good if he knows to just cut, chill now. Well, I, I can grab... I could put up just a bit more space <coughs> between me and him. Well, I sell a lead rope. <laughs> <laughs> there seems to be an alliance of lead rope. <laughs> good boy. You want me to get it? Crazy, some people can't even lunge a horse on a halter. I think it also depends on the situation. Yeah, of course. I think he likes it. Yeah. But you also don't let him run. No. <laughs> he sort of jumps. <laughs> kind of cute. and already asked for a ride if he was um, a little bit more settled I would have liked that but I also maybe was expecting a little bit too much in the beginning even though you just have to listen to your horse because there's some horses that the first time they go out they do feel ready but I don't want to push it too much because I want to be able to take my time so maybe tomorrow we'll come back again now that he's seen everything he's seen the jumps and we can try and go for a bit of a ride tomorrow um, when we have a little bit more time and we can take it a little bit easier but this was a great first experience uh, but there is some horses that are ready as soon as you arrive for the first time and there's some horses that maybe even after 10 times are still not ready so you just have to listen to what your horse yeah. tells you okay look at Annie the other one looking I always feel like it makes the other ones closer because they are like real to get them Oh, it looks really good here. This is a nice place for photos for him. <laughs> 